Walk us through what you felt out there as, uh, as you logged in your first 90 minutes. Yeah, it was, you know, it was good. I think uh, it was good to be back on the pitch. Um, you know, obviously the last game I played was was uh, in the Olympics and uh, didn't end the way that we wanted it to end. So it was nice to just kind of come out here, uh, play with freedom, you know, no pressure, just have fun. And I think overall um, the team looked great. You know, I was very comfortable playing with, with everybody out there. I think um, everybody, everybody put in a, a really solid performance. And, you know, we would like to have not given up that goal in the last few minutes. Um, but overall, very positive, and now we just got to get ready for the next one. Speaking of the next one, what was Randy's message to you guys after the game, as far as just, you know, management, uh, time management, and stuff like that? Well, I think, you know, for the next couple of weeks, there's a lot of games that are going to be played. Um, we will leave, national team players will leave to play an additional two games. So it's essentially seven games in one month, um, which is a lot. So, you know, it's all about managing the time. Um, you know, I wasn't sure uh, exactly how I was going to feel, but you know, felt felt really good. I think um, you know, the older you get, you play a little bit smarter. Um, but you know, I think uh, his messages, you know, got to rest some players, also got to to get some some other players in the game, and I think it was it was a solid performance. Uh, but we want to go home this next game and and really win. That's that's the key. And it doesn't get any easier. Orlando set our numbers so far. What's the plan, I guess, going into that one? Yeah, uh, we got to take care of business. I think if we just come out there like we did today, um, knock the ball around, use one another, play what's on, um, you know, we'll, we'll get the result. But uh, I think that's that's the most important thing. It's not necessarily who we're playing. Um, worry about ourselves, what we can control, and, and just go out there and work hard and get it done. Yeah, walk us through the goal. Um, what do you see and uh, your thoughts after it hit the back of the net? Um, well, there's you know quite a bit of space in the midfield, and um, throughout the whole game, I, I saw the keeper off her line quite a few times. Um, you know, was was kind of eyeing that up here and there, and I believe Andressa played me a, a great ball, uh, faced up, took a you know a couple of looks, and just hit it solid and went in the back of the net. Talk about some of your teammates. Kate's been on fire so far. David had a few good moments. How was it to play with them again? Yeah, it was great. I mean, Kay was threatening everybody, um, whether she was on the left side, right side. Uh, both her goals came from the left side, but um, you know, her speed and, and athleticism and uh, just you know, nose for the goal is, is really great. And uh, she's been on a streak, which is great. She's got to keep going. Um, you know, I've always thought she's been a player who's got a lot of talent. Um, I think it's just you know about uh, doing the things that she does great and just having the confidence um, to. to shots on goal and she showed that today. Anything else about the game? Um, so the just in terms of so Kelly Ohio came in and was talking about how good it was to have you back in the midfield and how it tended to open up because if they came in to press. So if you could just talk about like I guess the connection between the midfield and the forwards for the team and how that connection is working so far. Um yeah I mean I, I think uh, I'm the type of player who kind of just thrives in that role, in that attacking role. Uh, I love to slip through balls. I love to shoot from distance. I love to um, just create havoc. And it's nice to have players who um, make great runs and you're able to find them, even though they're maybe five steps behind and have the speed to, to catch up and blow past defenders. Um, but it was great. I mean, I thought um, overall it was, it was a, a really fun game to be a part of. Um, you know, just not thinking, just going out there, playing, having fun, and uh, the results showed tonight. Yeah. Uh, Heather O'Reilly broke that she's got announced her retirement from soccer tomorrow. I don't know, you know how much the team knows about it, but what are your thoughts on that? I didn't know it was public, but um, I did know, yeah. It broke um, tonight, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you know, I've known Heather for, for quite some time. I remember back in the day when my club team went on to, to the you know, the college level and I was kind of left behind. I was training with her and um, she was a player who, who I looked up to. Um, she was super fit. Her work ethic was insanely good. And um, you know, she's, she's gonna be missed. I mean, she's been, no matter if she's a sub, no matter if she's starting, you can always count on her and she's gonna be missed. You know, she's part of this DNA, the culture of this team, uh, the work ethic, fitness level, and um, she's a fantastic player. And, I wish her nothing but the best and um, 
her future endeavors, and I'm sure we'll be, you know, seeing her on the sideline at some point. Maybe she'll be coaching. Um, there's even jokes of her refing. Um, but <laughs> yeah, she's she's awesome, and definitely gonna miss her a lot. Do you uh, have a prediction for who's gonna be the next leader on the beep test? Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, Kelly Kelly O'Hara is still up there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be. Uh, Heather Mitz, Heather O'Reilly, they're, they're kind of the ones that have been kind of up there. Um, but who knows? Do you have like a favorite Halo moment that you can just think of? I mean, you guys have played a lot of games together, <laughs> so. Um, I would say favorite Halo moment is, uh, she always rips her shirt off when she's doing the beep test. Um, it's just kind of her thing. She just gets really in the moment, and I believe she hasn't really done it the last couple of times she's, she's done it, um, and we always joke about it with her but um, yeah she that's when you know she's in the zone she's gonna keep running until she can't run anymore uh, rips her shirt off um, but just I mean just her her facial expressions <laughs> uh, you can't miss those um, you know she's just she's just a, a, a great person on and off the field and um, you know sad this sad to see her retire um, you know I think she definitely can could keep going um, but it is what it is and you know she's got to make that decision yeah, thank good you. to go thank you cool.